First at 16, gun violence spiked in Tulsa last year and community leaders are taking notice. The Tulsa Dream Center is starting a new program to stop teens from going down the wrong path. Two News Oklahoma senior reporter Justin Ayer spoke exclusively with the executive director about this program and what he feels is the answer to keep children away from a life of crime. Whether it be community service like packing up food to give to those in need, or playing sports, the executive director of the Tulsa Dream Center says it's all about keeping kids busy. On this holiday, sorry, these kids are getting to work. MLK Day is a day of service and not just a day off from school and a day off from work. It's the philosophy executive director Tim Newton has on a daily basis, especially for teens. We told you last year, Tulsa police say juveniles are responsible for all or part of about 40% of the city shootings. It's really heartbreaking, honestly. Newton's about to launch a new youth diversion program where his team will recruit high school students from Webster and McLean to join the Dream Center. The goal is really to how can we impact those two particular schools that have boys and girls that are going into, that are just involved and, and divert them from the situations that they're in to do something more positive. In a study conducted by Georgetown University's Center for Juvenile Justice Reform, teens stay away from crime when they're busy with jobs, sports and music, and community service. Factors that lead to crime include lack of family support, money, and peer pressure. When you talk to children who commit crimes, what do they tell you? They didn't have anything to do. They, uh, they didn't really know that that was, that was going to be the, the outcome of it. All Dream Center activities are free, and it's crime free. Newton says as long as children have mentors and opportunities, they're on the right track. In Tulsa, Justin Air, 2 News, Oklahoma.